write down what you feel. If you felt it, then it's absolutely genuine. And if the more genuine you are, the more people I think are going to relate to that. If What are some of the advices that you could, you know, share with other, you know, book authors and, and poets? I read a quote once. The quote was basically, you're not going to write the next great American novel. Just shut up, sit down and write. That is incredibly freeing. I am not going to be bumping Hemingway off that shelf. It's not going to happen. And it's incredibly freeing. No one's going to say, oh my God, he's just like Lord Byron. Mm -hmm. And it's incredibly freeing just because you're not going to be listed among the, the greatest author for the entire history of the world doesn't mean that you can't write. Write down what you feel. If you felt it, then it's absolutely genuine. And if the more genuine you are, the more people I think are going to relate to that. If you're trying to write for someone else, and I started following into it when I started writing these books, I'm like, oh, okay, the fourth book is coming. I have to write another poem about this. And then all of a sudden the work just ground to a halt because now I'm writing for a book and not writing for me. As soon as I got back into hell with it, I'm just going to write whatever I want to freaking write. That's when the work really started flowing. That's when, boom, the fourth book was done. Honestly, the fifth book is almost done. The fifth book is going to be a lot of stream of consciousness poetry a lot of super weird write nothing like i've done before like i said i was writing for these books now i'm just going to be writing for me which i'll put into a book instead of trying to fit a theme that i imposed on myself and a lot of writers will well i want to be like my favorite writer so all of a sudden you're the writing you're doing is sounds just like your favorite whatever i don't think it's easy to find your own voice the quote in my first book by Alan Ginsberg, Ginsberg was, if you want to find your own voice, forget about having it heard. That's why I put that in that first book, because that's absolutely what I did. I published that book for me. I honestly didn't think it would be a bestseller, and it isn't, but it's completely irrelevant. If I sold one book or I sold a million, I still wrote it for me, and same with the rest of the books. If, you, if you're writing for someone else, you're not writing. You're just... Uh, it's almost dictating. Thanks for listening to The Adrian Sinclair Show. You can find previous episodes on the A Podcast multi-channel network at apodcast.com. You can also stream this podcast on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Podbean, and other audio platforms. And if you subscribe to our weekly newsletter, you'll get convenient short summaries of podcasts you may have missed. So check it out. And lastly, please, please, please support us by sharing our episodes on social media. We really appreciate it. Thanks.